I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. Three tips here. Oh, look at that. 50 denomination Utah gold backs. First thing we'll do is take them out of these uh, these liners that they come in. All right, there we go. 10 50 unit Utah gold backs. Now let's try to figure out exactly what we're going to do with these things. We're going to, uh, let's see, what's it say down here? 1 20th Troy ounce, 24K gold. So we're going to cut these up, I think. Put them in a melt dish and see just exactly how much gold we can get out of these. Here we go. We're going to cut these up now into strips. Here we go. 10 50 unit Utah gold backs cut in strips. All right, let's put a uh, melt dish down here. Turn on some flameage. And now we're going to start feeding these uh, gold backs in there. See what kind of uh, what we can get out of these, what we can expect out of them. Wow, it's a lot of, a lot of burnable combustible material in there. Got about half of them, a little over half in there. We'll just keep going till we get all this into the melt dish. Does look like pure gold. Foils in there.
All right, here's the last piece. And put it in there. Throw some borax in here. Hopefully keep the uh, metal from flying out. Yeah, I can see the little gold beads forming. Down inside the melt dish. This is oxyacetylene flame I'm adding now. Let's get in here and get this thing. There's our gold from the uh, gold backs. Let's see what it looks like. Here's our little piece of gold that we recovered from those 10, 50 denomination Utah gold backs looks like about a half ounce of gold 1 20th of a gram in each one of those bills and there's 10 bills so that should be uh, 10 20th one half half an ounce and we got 15.5 grams of gold it's gonna be contaminated because I use a dirty melt dish here's our gold bead 15.6, 15.5 times three. So we need 46.5 grams of pure silver or sterling silver to quart this bead of gold. That's 45.7, that's close enough. We're gonna take this out and quart it now. All right, here we go. Throw the gold in there.
right, let's take this over and pour it into some water. Here's our encorded gold. We're gonna take this in and put it in a beaker and we'll start uh, pulling the silver out of there with nitric acid boils. Bottom of this beaker, what we'll do is start off by adding a little bit of water. Now we're gonna put some nitric acid in here, just a little bit. Start pulling the silver and the base metals out with nitric acid. Set it up on the heat. Here I'm doing four nitric acid boils on time lapse. And uh, what I'm doing is pulling the silver and the base metals out that we added when we and quartered the gold with the sterling silver. We have to inquart that gold in order for the nitrate to be able to penetrate. And here you can see by the colorless solution that we've got all of it pulled out now. I can tell by the color, all the silver and all the base metals have been pulled out of this now. There's our gold. See how colorless the solution is. I'm gonna pour it over here into this jar it's going to be a whole bunch of excess nitric in there we'll add silver and consume that looks like down in the bottom of our beaker. Now what we'll do is add some hydrochloric acid to our gold. About 100 milliliters I guess should do it for our for starters. And we'll put some sulfuric acid just in case we got any lead in here. I'm going to drop in some nitric acid now. We're going to start dissolving the gold. That's three milliliters. Let's try six milliliters. Should do it just about. Here I started with six milliliters of nitric acid and about 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And uh, I kept adding small doses of nitric acid to try to get the rest of it to go in solution. It was stubborn, it took probably over an hour to get everything to dissolve. And I did add a little bit more hydrochloric acid to aid the reaction. Got everything to go in solution. Let's pull this down off the heat. And what we'll do is throw some ice in here. Pull this down.
precipitate out the gold with some stump out. It should only take about one spoon, maybe two. Here we go. First spoon. Next spoon going in of stump out. And this is only a half an ounce, so this should be enough. Three spoons. That should do it. I've allowed this gold to settle completely. What I'm going to do now is pour off the waste into my gold. Refining waste container. Now I'll set it up on the heat and we'll boil it in some water. This is about our third or fourth water boil. I'm going to pour this off to the waste container. Here's a look at the gold. It's looking pretty good down in there. Got a nice color to it. So now what we'll do is uh, add some hydrochloric acid the gold and I will set this up on the heat and boil it in hydrochloric acid. Pour off this hydrochloric acid boil. Look at how that gold looks in there. It's beautiful. Now I'm going to pour in some hydrochloric acid. And we're just going to set this down out of the way. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way, get set up for our next evolution. going to set our beaker with our gold in it up here on this heating pad and I'm going to put some lighting on this so we can get a good shot and watch this dissolve now we'll add some heat and we're going to put some sulfuric acid in here take care of any lead that may be present just a few drops now I'm adding some nitric acid we're gonna redissolve the gold a second time
Well, I had this set up on a time lapse. And of course, I got distracted and forgot to start the camera. So, now all the gold has uh, been dissolved a second time. We'll just let this uh, boil down until all those fumes disappear. And we'll pull it down and go from here. Got everything to dissolve. I'm gonna pull this down off the heat and let it cool off. Now we'll add a couple ice cubes to cool our solution off. Uh, looks like we got a little cloudiness in here just a little bit pour it back through the same filter a second time one more time just to make sure Absolutely free of sediment. Don't look too bad. There is a bell. We'll transfer the solution into a clean beaker.
here we go we've got the uh, solution crystal clear I'm gonna add stump out we're gonna precipitate out the pure gold here we go That was fairly spectacular. It's looking down into the beaker from the top of the beaker. After I added just a quarter of a spoon of the stump out. All right, let's add another spoon of stump out to the solution. Here's a big chunk. Let's add that right on in. Boom. That ought to be interesting. Watch that react. There's that clod of stump out. Dissolves. <laughs> Pretty neat looking. give it a stir here I've allowed the gold to settle completely. It looks very good. What we'll do now is rinse it off real good with some water. I'm gonna boil it in some distilled water multiple times. For right now, what we'll do is just go ahead and pour this off into our waste container. I've given this three distilled water boils and then one hydrochloric acid boil and then two more distilled water boils. 
So we have should have the gold cleaned off nice for us right now. All the chemicals should be gone out of there. All the acid should be gone. Transfer the gold out of our beaker and down into this uh, drying dish. We're going to dry this off now. out of the way here. Pull our hot plate down. I'm going to put our gold in here and go ahead and dry it off and get all the moisture out of it. Took about 20 minutes to dry. So now what we'll do is we'll take it out of this pan. Here's our gold. See how nice and smooth that is? Nice and clean. Gold powder. I'm gonna set it into a, uh, a separate dish. I'm gonna let this cool off now. Let's get our gold powder. Looks excellent into our uh, melt dish over here it came out real good let's take our gold powder looks like cinnamon take it over here to the melt table we're going to melt us in the ingot Nice. Here's our pure gold bar that we just poured 
Man, look at that thing. <laughs> it's got a nice mirror finish on it. It's hard to get a good pour on a small bar like that with the lip of the melt dish being so high above the mold. It tends to want to splash in as you pour it in. If I got a smaller melt dish, I'd probably be able to do a little bit better. Let's see. We had 15.5 when we started before we imported and refined it. And then we got 15.2 grams that we were able to recover from 10 50 unit gold backs, Utah gold backs. Very nice looking piece of gold. I'm happy with it. I'd say that they're, uh, they're pretty much right on. Had a few uh, crumbs go over when I was pouring off the rinse water and so forth. So those things are pretty close to being exactly what they say they're supposed to be. That's what I'd have to say about it. So this will conclude the video. Thank you for watching.